Okay, gonna do a quick startup video for the Ruko F11 Mini. Sitting right there beside my F11. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is on the box, you can download the app for Android and you can download the app for your Apple. Right there on the box. It's also on the, uh, in the manuals. So what you wanna do first, turn on the drone you want to give it a tap and then press and hold it all the lights will go up drone lets you know it's on once it stops its noise come over now your controller you want to make sure and open everything all up make sure and flip that up there on the back at your antenna so then you want to turn that on Drone quits flashing. To sync them, go up, go down, and they're connected. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up your Wi Fi. Pull down your menu, press internet, and it's going to come up in here Ruko F11 Mini. You're going to connect to that. It is going to tell you there's no internet access, but you don't need it because the drone is putting out the signal for you to connect to. There, it is now connected. Done. So then you come in here and you want to open up your Ruko Mini app. Control. You want to press the control right there. Then you can watch the video or press the skip. GPS mode. And then you can go into calibration mode Ready right there. Ready to fly. Okay, once you get into the mini app, it's going to give you this screen right here. And you got to calibrate the drone. So we're going to do that right now. And you just rotate it around waist high you want it about 40 inches once you get that done it's going to beep and it's going to want you to rotate it up and down so that's calibrated once that's calibrated you get this other screen here to calibrate the gyros so you want to hit calibrate flashes and now it's the drone is all calibrated next thing you want to do is make sure right here's your satellite signal you want to make sure you have at least three bars I always wait you know a couple extra minutes and make sure I get the fourth one this is how much battery power your drone has and this one's how much power your controller has when you look down here in the lower left corner of your app you can see this little arrow and it's got a little that's the way your drone is pointing as you turn the drone that little arrow is going to turn and when it goes away from you you always know which way the drone's facing by the way that arrow is facing so if you get way out and you can't see it you can turn it around and head back towards you and that's oh here we go let's do this you can come up here and you want to press this little gear and that opens up this screen here when you first start it's going to be in beginner mode so in beginner mode you can only fly it 90 feet away and 90 feet in altitude all you have to do is shut off beginner mode and you can dial these up to 500 meters or whatever but for now let's keep you in beginner mode 
that's that.